know what it was, it's these, these big tanks, and then I look down and it's like, <laughs> looks like fish. Whoa, cleanup continues tonight after hundreds of eels, yes, eels spill onto an Oregon highway covering cars and that road in a slimy mess. This is Corn 6 News at 11 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff. I'm Jeff Giannola, and this all happened on Highway 101 between Depot Bay and Otter Rock. And tonight the highway's back open, but the messy eels remain. Or Andrew Dimbert has the latest developments from the coast. A truck driver carrying 7,500 pounds of eel. It was unbelievable. Slips up behind the wheel. I didn't know what it was. It's these, these big tanks, and then I look down, and it's like, <laughs> looks like fish. Along Highway 101 near Lincoln City, a 1993 Mitsubishi truck carrying 13 containers loaded with hagfish had trouble navigating through a construction zone. I don't know if he didn't see it or, or whatever, but he kept coming, and, and so to miss the, the ODOT truck, which was turning in front of him, he whipped out, and, and he did right in front of the car, which was the first car, and, and so he lost one of the, one of the big tanks. That big tank and all that fish went flying across the highway, causing a chain reaction. It flew off and hit the hit that car and that pushed that car into the three cars and into the front of mine. Kevin White, who was innocently in the middle of it all, says he's thankful no one was hurt. I had no choice but to get out and I was walking in it and <laughs> it was ugly. And Aaron Butler had a near miss with all that fish. On the ground, it was still moving. I mean, it was there was liquid eels and all over the road, um, and it was very frightening. So these are actually hagfish, nicknamed slime eel. They get that nickname because you can see here, they secrete slime whenever they're under stress, making the cleanup that much more difficult. And while that cleanup continues, so too does the investigation. We're told charges are pending for that truck driver. It's all the things I see on YouTube of accidents happening. It's like, this really just happened. Andrew Dimbert, Coin 6 News. And the smell is so bad, too. We're going beyond the headlines now about those hagfish. We found out they are bottom feeders, usually 300 to 600 feet underwater, and they're scavengers. So they eat other dead and dying sea creatures. Fishermen will put bait, usually rotting fish, in these plastic barrels you see there with those small holes and trap doors punctured in them on the ocean floor. The particular eels from today were on their way to South Korea, where they're considered a delicacy and an aphrodisiac. You can go to coin.com right now for more.